now to campaign 2020, the Florida primary, of course, just four days away. And in the high-profile race for Miami-Dade State Attorney, Melba Pearson is running against her boss, Catherine Fernandez Rundle. Rundle has held that position for nearly three decades. CBS 4's Hank Tester reports Pearson says it's way past time for a change. State Attorney Kathy Fernandez Rundle has an opponent. She's Melba Pearson, Deputy Director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Florida, a former prosecutor at the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. In the last 27 years, my opponent has never filed charges against a police officer for an on-duty killing. That's not okay. Pearson indicates she would file more cases against cops, even if chances of a conviction is problematic due to Florida's law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights. After 27 years, it's time to elect somebody that really centers the feelings of the people and can really connect with the people in a way that my opponent can. I have those that critique me, they, they criticize me because I prosecute too many police officers, and then I have those that will say we don't do enough. So that sort of says to me that we're probably doing the right thing for the right number of cases. The police prosecution issue has dogged Fernandez Rundle for some time. The notion that we do not hold them accountable, that we do not prosecute them, is just false. Pearson vows to reduce the jail population by reforming cash bail system. She says discriminates against the poor, keeping juveniles out of adult court, and root out discrimination and racial bias. She says exists at every level of Miami-Dade's criminal justice system. It's time for justice to be real and equitable for all people in Miami-Dade County. Not just some, not just the wealthy, not people of certain races, but justice be real for everyone equally. Over the years, Fernandez Rundle instituted drug court, established a hate crime unit, has gone after human traffickers, and supports a civilian review panel to keep an eye on police practices. Says crime under her watch is down 70 percent. Those are the kinds of things that I'm most proud of we've been able to do in terms of building bridges, creating innovative programs. If you want more information on the candidates running for state attorney here in Miami-Dade County, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News. And remember, early voting ends Sunday. For the latest information on everything you need to know before you vote, as Hank said, you can visit us online at cbsmiami.com.